What is going on guys? Welcome to Greg Ols TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? Hope you're having a fantastic day. I only have one, it's not even a story, it's a tip and trick for you because the news was just so slow today. It really wasn't that much interesting stuff and I wanted to just go through this. I think it's a really, really cool trick and it's all about on, and it also work on any Android phone, but I'll just talk about Samsung Galaxy phones and the direct path that you go to. This will help you block ads in basically any app so that you don't have to deal with the ads in the app or on the website or any of that stuff. So this is a pretty cool little thing. So what you wanna do is hit your home buttons here on your home screen, swipe down from the top, hit the gear in the top right so that it brings you into settings. Once you're in settings, go into connections Go down until you see your more connection settings. Tap that. Then go into private DNS. When you tap that, you're gonna see automatic. It's gonna be set to automatic most likely or off. Click on private DNS provider host name and type in that dns.adguard.com. Now before I do that, I'm gonna set to automatic. I'll hit save just so you see it. And you would hit save there, but ultimately just to show you that it works, I'm gonna bring up a website, I got Droid Life's website. Let me just refresh the page. And we have an ad right there for Vons and, and Wired. And I'm going to close that site. I'm gonna go back into settings, go into private DNS, choose my private DNS provider host name, which is dns.adguard.com, which is, this is completely free. You don't have to pay anything. Hit save, hit the home button, and open back up the website. I'm back at Droid Life. I'm gonna refresh the page. We're gonna go back. And now there, the, where there was an ad, it's gone. There's still the space there, but the ad is gone on there so you won't see the ads. Now, I wouldn't recommend using this if you're trying to support a site that you love seeing their ads or you wanna support the site to get the ad. So keep the ads on if you want. I would use this if it was really intrusive, is bo bo bothering you a lot because of the ad, um, whatever that reason may be. But yeah, this is a, a quick little tip and trick uh, to uh, not see ads as much basically on the website or whatever you know thing that you're using. So there you guys go, very quick and easy tip and trick for you. And if you wanna set it back, if you're having any issues, I noticed it within like my banking apps, my banking apps wouldn't load so good when I had this DNS thing on. So you might want to, if you're having trouble with a, a website that you're loading up or an app not working completely easy, just go back into that connections and then go into your more connection settings, private DNS, change it back to automatic, hit save, and then close out the app, reopen it, and you should be good to go. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. We'll see you down the road. Peace.